Uh, Midwest Machine is a company that started out as just general millwright work and we've evolved more into original equipment manufacturing in the past couple years. Uh, we now build saws, casers for different plants and other areas. The Navy I was auxiliary division, mainly I repaired machinery, troubleshot, uh, kept the boat going, everything from hydraulics, high pressure air, down to you know, atmosphere control. I worked on the machines that made the auction and stuff like that. I started off Midwest Machine as a part-time employee as a welder's helper. Two years ago, I went into the automation shop, and that's when I started full-time. Uh, I troubleshoot the equipment we build and help program and get it working. Everything from, uh, I'll go out and change out servos, processors, to uh, other days I'll just be here uh, assembling the machines. I enjoy the challenge of figuring out what has happened with a piece of machinery or how to make something work. That's where I, that's where I enjoy this at, is the constant challenge of finding something new. But one of the good things here at Midwest is they don't really hold college to the to applications. And I started working here part time. At that point, I uh, I ended up dropping college a couple years into it. And most of the people here are self-taught. We all learn pretty much on our own time. But the automation industry has really changed a lot. It's starting to find its way into the beef houses, the pork plants. It's cheaper to buy the machine and automate it than it is to actually pay an employee to hand stack it all day. So. Our job is always growing. We're getting more and more people wanting equipment every day just to get rid of an employee. Uh, we can't ever seem to find enough employees to fill our spots. Even coming to this field, you'd probably start off part-time or start off just as a helper, and you'd come up through it as you learn more and more about it. It's a limitless field for somebody that gets in. It's just you've got to be apt enough to do it.